There is not a better time to celebrate and to honor the commitment to innovate care that patients receive. We don't compete to deliver health care. Our goal is to really complete health care and to really move it forward. Our responsibility to the state, our moral responsibility to the state, is that we take the land and resources that they've given us, we take the trust that the people of Minnesota and the Upper Midwest have given us, and we convert that into innovation. This is a department that was the birthplace of a number of different innovations. Cardiac surgery, the bypass, a lot of that work was developed here. Transplantation, the pancreas, for example, and specifically islet cells, the cells that produce insulin within, within the pancreas, that was pioneered here in the Department of Surgery. In addition to those things, we've really moved the field forward in obesity therapy and weight loss surgery with an eye not so much to do the surgery, but to really discover the underpinnings of why that surgery works. And the leaders that came in that space were, were from Minnesota. The pacemaker, uh, which, which we all know is such a foundational therapy for cardiac disease, really has its, its roots here. And so what do we do? We commit ourselves to recruit the best minds in the business to study these areas. And so we have experimental surgical uh, surgicalists, if you will, that uh, are world experts in device implementation. We have the Visible Heart Laboratory that partners with industry for development and also training. We train most of the surgeons in Minnesota. And so the research mission, education missions really dovetail to push us forward. The more minds and the more diversity of those minds, the backgrounds that those minds represent uh, will make us stronger, will make us better. We all know the importance of diversity on survival. And in this case, it's the importance of uh, diversity on innovation and moving our field forward. It is a, a foundational principle of the department. The rich clinical experience that we've had and the support that we've had from the community really has set us up for a number of different advancements to leverage, I think, what is a rich community history of supercomputing and artificial intelligence work to apply it to medicine. And, and we're really excited about these big data approaches to solving care. Artificial intelligence really, in its most simplest form, refers to taking what we can do manually and automating it so that we can predict, make more efficient, and, and, and really optimize what the, the next strategic move should be for patient care to be successful in this area and move these fields forward. One of the last areas to really emphasize and something we're particularly proud about is to look at completely novel ways of treating disease. So if you have a problem with your stomach, you operate on the stomach or use medications for that. But what if we could leverage something that's completely hidden? Every tissue has nerves that innervate it. And so our newest focus in the department uh, is to use neuromodulation, something that you may have heard about for the brain, for example, for epilepsy or severe depression or deep brain stimulation for Parkinson's, for example, can now be applied to the other parts of the body, like obesity, diabetes, fatty liver disease, which are all epidemic. And so we have successfully competed for and are leveraging large federal grants to stimulate the vagus nerve to understand its peripheral effects. And I think those are the things that will really catapult that spirit of innovation that our faculty and staff are so engaged with to serve the people that deserve this so much. The future of the department is bright because I think the future of Minnesota is bright and it's indistinguishable. And, and our integration with that and our commitment to it will carry us both along. We're very excited about the opportunities and resources that we have. And I hope to see and commit to seeing a real tangible movement in scientific advances as we move forward.